together as one and do a prayer, which is what we're doing now. We come here in prayer and in forgiveness. It's very hard. It's very hard because a lot of us have been hurt, humiliated, and brutalized by the police officers. But if I'm willing to forgive, and our youth council is, for, is willing to forgive, then I believe a lot of us should be. It's, it's in our nature to forgive. We all gotta... <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Oh. I love you. I love you too, guys. I love all of you. You're my family. You're the reason why I stay here. And it hurts me whenever I find out that a lot of you have been victimized by the police officers and brutalized. When I was went to jail on the 27th of October, we did. We were staying in dog kennels. They gave us numbers. I got arrested at 3:10, and I did not get get to go to sleep until 1:30. About 12:30 a.m. is when I finally got booked. We were held in in the rec room of Burley County, which was cold. And my experience was a lot easier than a lot, like most, especially for our women warriors. In their dog kennels, they had tarps covering them. In my dog kennel, there's 12 of us, 12 of us men squeezed in there. In the women's, there was about 20. A lot of the elders had to sleep on the floor until they were booked or until they were transferred. On October 22nd, The main person for our camp, whose name is Aaron Wise, her and one of our other members were going around for about 11 hours looking for two of our members that was arrested. We all forgive them, and I hope you guys can forgive them too. That's all I have to say. I love you guys. Oh,